We're gonna make this fade in text animation in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. So I'm on a new timeline here and I'm gonna start by opening the Fusion page and adding a text plus node. You can change the font and style to your liking. Once you have it the way you like, right click this text box here and select follower. Once you click follower, this modifier tab in the top right will become available. Make sure you click on the modifier tab and then click shading here and we get a ton of options and sliders to animate our text. I'm at the first frame of my animation and I want my text to fall down. So at frame zero, I'll set my Y offset to about 0.4. And when I press keyframe, it's automatically going to open these path one controls. We're just going to ignore those and double click on follower one where we just were. I want my text to fade in. So at frame zero, I'm going to set my opacity to zero and set a keyframe. Now I'm going to go to frame 15 and set my text the way I want it to look at the end of my animation. So I'll set my opacity back to 100 and my Y offset back to zero. And now we have this nice fade down, but we're not done. You can stop here if you want, but to put a little more spice on it, go to the timing menu in the top right and set your order to left to right and increase your delay to about two. Now each character moves separately and it looks really clean, but we can make it smoother by going to the spline editor. Make sure the box is checked and hit control A to select all of your points and then right click the box, select ease, and then hit out cubic. It makes it a little faster at the start and then slower at the end. I recommend applying motion blur by going back into the tools menu, go to settings, and then checking the motion blur box. My laptop's gonna struggle with playback, but your final product should look something like like this. There are a ton of ways to use follower to make cool text animations, and it all kind of starts with this. You can go to the edit page to drag these templates into your power bins. That way you can use them across projects. So I hope you found this helpful and have a great rest of your day.